Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, welcome back to our class with Teacher Ain. So, for today, we are going to continue our lesson. Today, we are going to continue module 5, our work. So, before we start our class, let's recite the dua. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Allah maftah alayna hikmataka wa ensure alayna min khaza'in rahmatika ya arhamar rahimin. Oh Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, please guide us. Amin. So, let's continue with our lesson for today. So, before we start our class, please open your student's book and turn to page 52 and 53. Open your student's book and turn to page 52 and 53. Buka student's book awak, buka surat 52 dan juga 53. So, ah, for today, we are going to do some Quizzes. Okay, uh, untuk aktiviti pertama, awak akan buat sedikit quiz. How healthy are you? Berapa sihatkah awak ni? Ha, awak sihat ke tak? Awak kena jawab soalan ni. Nanti kita tengok berapa value awak untuk untuk aktiviti number two. Kita akan um, uh, bersembang how many, how many and how, how much. The use of how many and how, uh, how much. Okay, for before we continue with our lesson, let's learn new vocabularies. Okay, jom pelajar vocabulary yang baru. Okay, awak ikut perkataan tersebut. Now, let's look at the vocabularies of the day. A cup of tea. Sejauh A cup thing. of tea. A cup of tea. A bar of chocolate. A bar of chocolate. Satu A bar, bar chocolate. of chocolate. A glass of milk. Segelas A glass susu. of milk. A glass of milk. Meal. 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 What is meal? Meal is hidangan lengkap. Meal is hidangan lengkap. Hour. 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 Hour, Hour means waktu. Now, let's do the health quiz and find out how healthy you really are. Ha, jom kita buat quiz ni bersama-sama. Okay. Do the quiz and find out how healthy you are. Okay. One, how many meals do you eat every day? So, berapa banyak makanan yang awak makan setiap hari? A, one meal. B, three meals. C, two meals. Okay, mana satu terpulang kepada awak? Ah, berapa banyak awak makan setiap hari? Kalau cikgu, three meals. Okay, two, do you eat vegetables with your lunch? Adakah awak makan sayur uh, untuk makan tengah hari awak? A, sometimes. B, never. C, always. Okay. What's your answer? Okay, number three. How much water do you you drink every day? Berapa banyak air yang awak minum setiap hari? A, over five glasses. B, two to three glasses. C, one to two glasses. Ah, berapa banyak air yang awak minum satu hari? Four. How many bars of chocolate do you eat every week? Berapa banyak chocolate yang awak makan setiap minggu? A, over seven bars. Two, two to three bars. C, uh, zero to two bars. Okay, five. Do you exercise? Adakah awak exercise? Kalau ya, jawab yes every day. B, sometimes. C, never. Okay, six. How many hours do you sleep? Berapa jam awak tidur? A, five to six hours. Six to seven hours. And eight, eight to nine hours. Answer the quiz. Answer the question, okay? Okay, ni adalah answers for module 5 quiz. Kalau awak jawab out of shape, 1 until 4, you are not healthy. Eat right and exercise more. Ha, kalau jawapan awak uh, 0 until 4, jawab, awak punya awak tak sihat. Kena makan yang betul dan lebihkan exercise. Second, health friendly. 5 until 8. You are healthy but you can do more. Try harder. Healthy and fit. 9 until 12. You are very healthy person. Uh, awak kena kira ni. Contoh awak jawab A kosong. B awak jawab uh, 2. C awak jawab. Eh, C awak jawab apa? Nanti awak kira. Kira-kira. Lepas tu awak, awak contoh nombor 1 awak jawab apa? Awak jawab kosong. Okay, nombor 2 awak jawab C. Jadi, kosong tambah 2. 2. Nombor 3 awak jawab 2. Jadi, ada 4. 4 tambah awak. 
nombor question nombor 4 awak jawab B. Jadi tambah 1. Jadi 5 dah. Maka awak question nombor 5 awak jawab C. Kosong jadi tetap 5. 6 awak jawab C juga. So awak ada 5, 6, 7. So your score is 7. So kat sini 5 until 8. So you are healthy. Itu cara untuk awak kira. Boleh? Dah siap kira dah. 2. Talk to your friend. How many meals do you eat every day? Three meals. Okay. Tu, untuk, untuk aktiviti number two, dia kata talk to your friend. Cakap dengan kawan. How many meals do you eat every day? How many ni digunakan untuk menunjukkan berapa banyak hidangan yang awak makan setiap hari. Kawan dia kata three meals. Ha, so, hari ni kita akan belajar perbezaan how much dengan how many. How much and how many? When do you use it? And what does it mean? When we want to know the quantity or amount of something, we ask the question starting with how much and how many. Ha, bila kita guna how much and how many, kita guna bila kita nak tahu quantity ataupun bilangan sesuatu perkara. Bila kita nak tanya seseorang, kita guna how much ataupun how many. Quantity or amount, it means we want to know number, berapa banyak. Ha, so, we use how much and how many. Okay, so but there's a difference between how much and how many. Bila nak guna how much and bila nak guna how many. Okay, how much and how many. For how much, we are going to use it for uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns tu apa? Yes, tak boleh di kira. You cannot count it. Okay, later we look at the example. So you have to remember how much is used for things that you cannot count. For example, sugar and water, right? So you cannot count. You use how much. How much sugar would you like? As you can see here, okay, sugar is gula. You cannot count. You cannot count. You use how much sugar would you like? Uh, in Bahasa Melayu, it means berapa banyak gula kamu nak. Okay. So again, sugar is uncountable now. You cannot count. You use you use how much. Next, how much money did you spend? Money is something that you cannot count. So you use how much money did you spend? And last one, how much milk is in the fridge? Milk, susu, boleh kira ke susu? Okay, kalau susu, you cannot count. But if the milk in the carton, okay, you can count, okay? Maknanya uh, dalam bekas tu, you boleh kira lah. One carton, two cartons. But if you want to ask generally, how much milk is in the fridge? You use how much? Okay, what about how many? We use how many to uh, ask questions for countable nouns. Uh, for example, how many books did you buy? One book? Two books, boleh kira kan? So, you use how many books did you buy? Next, how many apples do we need? Apples, boleh kira tak? Boleh kira, so you use how many? And last one, how many bottles of water do you want? So, what is the difference of bottles of water dengan water je? Water, you cannot count. But, when you put bottles of water, you can count. Boleh kira botol tu kan? So, you use how many bottles of water do you want? Okay. Tapi kalau misalnya nak buang botol sih, uh, how many water ke? How much water? Kalau tinggal water saja, it becomes uncountable. So, how much water do you want? Okay. Now let us construct the questions. As you can see on the slide here, I have a table. Okay. So how do you want to construct the questions? Okay. Look at number one here. This is like I gave column one. Okay. You have how much or how many? Column two, you have nouns. So you have to identify whether you can count it or not. And then uh, for column three, you just uh, copy do you. And then for column four, you have to uh, choose suitable verb. Eat ke, for example, milk. Milk is susu, takkan nak guna eat. Eat for makan, right? So you can use eat, drink, sleep or exercise depending on the nouns. And last one, you copy every day. This is how to construct the question. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to give example. Okay, look at this point. How much milk do you drink every day? This is the type of question I want all of you to construct. So, how does this boy construct the question? Take from uh, column 1. How much milk? Milk, ingat balik. Countable ke uncountable? Boleh kira ke tak boleh? If you cannot count milk, you use how much. So, how much milk do you? Okay, milk for you to drink, right? So, you choose drink. How much milk do you drink every day? So, you have a complete question here. So, this is how you want to answer. But, uh, I don't want to go into answering yet. But, you can we can go through. So, the girl will answer. I drink two glasses of milk every day. Okay, but in this lesson, I want you to construct sahaja. Construct tu maknanya um, bina soalan sahaja. Uh, let's try bars of chocolate ni. How can we construct the question? So, you have to identify bars of chocolate ni. Uh, countable ke? Uncountable? Yes, boleh dikira. Bars yang kita dah belajar kan? Uh, apa 
kita panggil satu papan kan ha, Siapa ingat-ingat kan So you use how many How many bars of chocolate do you So choose eater, drinker, slicker, exercise Yes, chocolate you makan So you eat every day So how many bars of chocolate do you eat every day It's very simple right Okay, I'm going to give you one more example Okay, minute One minute, two minutes, three minutes You can count right So you use how much ke how many Yes, how many How many minutes do you You can choose Do you eat ke, do you drink ke For this one, I'm going to go with exercise Okay, so how many minutes do you exercise every day? So, complete one question. Okay, so I already gave you three examples. Now, it's your turn to do it. Okay, itu saja untuk hari ini. So, hari ini kita dah belajar how much and how many. So, cikgu ulang balik. How much digunakan untuk uncountable Now Yang tak boleh dikira. How many kita gunakan untuk countable Now Yang boleh dikira. Okay, untuk aktiviti hari ni, open your workbook and turn to page 41. Okay, uh, activity 1 and activity 2. Jawapan dah ada dekat sini dah. Next, page 41, activity 1. Look and Tulis write. jawapan ni dalam buku so awak. So, very easy. Just write what do you think the form or the unit that's used for each of these food items. For example, number one, we're talking about tea. And then, there's a picture of tea in a cup. So, just put cup in the blank. Okay? A cup of tea. That's, that's it. That's how you do this one. Okay? For number two, look at the picture. There's a glass here. Number three, a slice. Number four, a bar. Number five, a can. Tin. Number six, a box. Okay, if not, if you're not sure of uh, the spelling, you can always open your textbook and check. Right? For activity two, read and write how much or how many, then answer. Okay, since this is a recap, you have to remember what we learned before. How much, how many. How much is used to ask about uncountable nouns. Kita guna how much untuk tanya bilangan ataupun amount, jumlah. Benda yang tidak boleh dikira. Uncountable. Okay? So, how many for countable boleh dikira? Let's look at number one. Okay? Look at glasses. Can you count glasses? Boleh kira atau tidak glasses? Yes! Glasses we can count. Kita kita boleh kira. So, if you can count, we use how many. Alright? So, the answer for number one is how many glasses of milk do you drink every day? So, how do you answer this question? It's based on yourself. Berdasarkan diri awak sendiri. You can also reka the answer. For example, how many glasses of milk do you drink every day? Uh, I, I want to answer. Saya minum satu gelas susu setiap hari. So, my answer should be I di depan sebab soalan tanya you do you drink so I drink a satu cawan a glass tak ada s kan sebab kita cuma satu saja I nak tulis satu saja so I drink a glass of water every day that's how I answer okay number two water do you drink water do you drink okay water is uncountable tidak boleh dibilang so we use how much So your answer should be how much water do you drink? So answer this according to yourself. For example, you drink eight glasses. So write the answer. I drink eight glasses. At the S N E S about lebih dari satu. I drink eight glasses of water. Full stop. Okay. Untuk activity three. Your last task for today is page 41, activity 3, and I want to make a cake. She has some of the things, but what else does she need? Look and write the shopping list. Okay, sekarang ni Anna nak buat satu cake. Setengah bahan tu, dia dah ada. Tapi, apa lagi bahan yang dia perlukan? Tengok gambar, look and tulis senarai shopping Anna. Okay, look at the ingredients dalam resepi ni, chocolate cake. Dia nak butter, sugar, eggs, flour, milk and chocolate. Okay, kita tengok apa yang Enna sudah ada. Enna ada chocolate. 
So coklat dah tak perlu beli, don't have to buy this. Anna dah tak payah beli. And then flour ada, tepung ada. So tak perlu dah beli. And then Anna ada telur, alright? So eggs also, Anna doesn't have to buy. So Anna only have to buy butter, sugar and also milk. Okay, butter is already written here. And then you have to fill in another two ingredients that Anna has to buy. That's all. Okay class, so itu saja untuk pembelajaran kita pada hari ini. Siapkan latihan dalam workbook awak. Okay, kita jumpa lagi pada minggu hadapan. Assalamualaikum.